Hi guys, how are you today? Time to talk housewives. We got some really good housewives stories for you today. First, we're going to talk about how Erica Jane is going to handle the divorce on the upcoming season. Then we're going to talk about Jen Shaw threatening lawsuits on bloggers. Then we're going to talk about LVP's restaurant pump being closed by the state. But first, I wanted to share with you the foundation that I'm wearing today. It's by Too Faced and it's part of their Born This Way collection. It's a medium to full coverage. What I really like about this product is it feels very light on my face, but it gives me the coverage that I need and it lasts 24 hours. It's really a part of my real collection. I love this product. I highly recommend it. And if you guys want to try it, I'll leave the link in the description box. Now let's get right into these stories. Let's start with my favorite and that will be Jen Shaw. Now let's talk about this Jen Shaw situation and it really confuses the hell out of me. I mean, I, I just don't know what to make of it. All this time I thought sleeping with your grandfather would be the most outrageous thing on that show. I mean, it doesn't get any crazier than that. Turns out, false alarm, Jen Shaw is the craziest thing on that show and her outbursts, they don't make any sense. It just, it's just, and it's hard to watch, it's hard to deal with. I have lost all sympathy for Jen and I feel bad. I feel bad because she came out and said that she suffers from mental illness and she suffers from depression and she actually takes medicine to help her with it. But it's not working. It is not working. Not only does she have outbursts on the show a couple weeks ago, uh, a tape was surfacing around the internet when she was having an outburst on her designers and he was not, it wasn't even an outburst. He was physically and verbally assaulted. She yelled at him like a madman. <laughs> And then she threw something at him and then told them all to get out the room. It was very, very poor behavior. Now, I, and this is an adult conversation, you guys. Do I excuse her behavior because she has a mental illness? I don't know. I just say that it's hard to deal with. It's very hard to deal with. And mental illness or not, anybody would be embarrassed of that tape. It's not normal behavior, okay? And if anything, it made me feel sorry for Sharif. I mean, just the things that he has to put up with must be unbearable, okay? Um, but mental illness, should we give her a break? I don't know. But let's talk about what she's doing today. So after the tape came out, she was embarrassed, okay? Um, I would be too. Anybody would be embarrassed. But not only now is she embarrassed, now she's threatening to sue the bloggers that released the tape. I can't make this up. I do not make this up. First of all, number one, that is not a good thing to do. Bloggers are not going to like you if you start threatening to sue them. I mean, just ask Jamal Bryan. <laughs> it could turn the ties on you, okay? It could massively backfire. You're suing them the bloggers that released the information that was given to them. They didn't go find the tape their damn selves. And now you're upset because people are reacting to it. So you're going to go sue the bloggers. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Now Jen's attorney, uh, David Raymond, first he came out and said that the tape was obtained illegally. She, they're saying that they got the tape from her security system in her house. Really David Raymond? Is that where you guys are going with this? Anybody could tell that that tape was taped from the side by a cell phone. <laughs> I doubt anyone will break into your house, go for your tapes, get a clip of that, and then send it to bloggers. I just don't believe it. I believe that uh, it was the designer that released the tape. I mean, come on, people. Let's, he had had enough. He had had enough. But for the sake of this video and my, myself being sued, I'll say that... He didn't do that. Maybe somebody else did break into her house and went into her security system and got a clip of the tape. Okay, whatever. Don't pee on my leg and tell me that it's raining. But we don't know who uh, released the tape to the blogs. Now, the two blogs is called Reality Von Tees 2 and Shaw Shepherd. But this is what the letter that they received today from... Uh, Jen's attorney. It says, I've been advised that the above listed accounts contains content relating to Mr. and Mrs. Shaw. Among other things, each account contains video and or audio content that was unlawfully 
acquired from the Shaw's home security system, as well as further false and defamatory comments regarding Mrs. Shaw. Furthermore, the conduct described above subjects you to further liability for multiple common law torts under Utah law. This includes torts for invasion of privacy, including intrusion upon seclusion and publication of private facts, defamation, false light, torturous interference, and economic relations, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Emotional distress, Jen, really? They caused you emotional distress or was it the other way around? Did you cause emotional distress to your designer? Anyway, it goes on and ends this way. The Shaw's further demand that you immediately cease and desist from all further publication or any, all, uh, or any unlawful obtained communication. In other words, take it down or I'm taking you to court. Now, like I said before, I don't, I, this confuses me. I don't see how this is going to help. We already know how you treat your employees. It's already out there. It is what it is. I don't know. I don't have anything else to add to this conversation. We'll talk about it later in the comments section. Let's move on to Erica Jane. Now, there's a rumor going around that Erica Jane is going to be totally open and upfront about what's going on with her on the upcoming season. Not only that, Lisa Runna is going to be her main source of support. Lisa Renna, the pot stirrer of the show. They're saying that we're going to get an uh, open and honest case of what's going on. Don't pee on my leg and tell me that it's raining. I doubt that. Erica Jane is going to tell you the truth or an edited version of the truth or what she wants us to believe is the truth because I seriously doubt that she's going to tell the truth, especially with the rumors going around. The rumor is that once Tom found out that he was in trouble, they sat down and mapped out a plan on how to get him out of this mess. And this was the plan. Transfer all his money to his spouse, which is Erica, and other people, probably the brother, probably overseas, who knows, uh, have Erica intentionally file for divorce. That way it distances her from, her from the situation, spread the rumor out there that Tom is having affairs, um, also to let his firm close, then have his brother declare him incompetent. <laughs> Do you think she's gonna be talking about that on the show? <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. I mean, please, really? No, 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 no. What I'm thinking, people, and this is just me, I'm thinking this is how this story's going to go. We already sat down, me and Lisa Renna, and presented a storyline of how we want this to unfold, and we're gonna stick to it till the very end, even if evidence come, comes out to prove otherwise. Now, that's just me. Maybe I'm just a pessimist, I don't know. Let's move on. Now, let's move on to this LVP story. Okay, so according to The Sun, uh, Pump, the restaurant Pump, where the show is taped, has been indefinitely suspended by the California Tax Board. In other words, they're saying that they owe back taxes and they close the restaurant indefinitely. This makes no sense to me, people. Right off, right my first thought it, it it doesn't make sense you close a restaurant for back taxes that must mean it's more than just this last year where she has admitted that the restaurant has been suffering because of covid um she had to close down villa blanca it's just been a mess not just for lisa vanderpump for everybody i mean covid has ruined everyone's life but to close it down indefinitely, there has to be more back taxes that they're talking about. And how much are these back taxes where you close it down indefinitely? And it, it just doesn't add up, up to me right now. It really doesn't make any sense. Uh, I think it was, oh gosh, a couple weeks ago, Andy Cohen came out and announced that they will be uh, filming an upcoming season of Pump. Not Pump, what's it called? Vanderpump Rules. And to me, that means that uh, there'll be money coming in from the show. Also, it means that Sir will be back on television. And you know, that always draws a huge crowd whenever your restaurant's on television. It just doesn't make sense. Plus, besides the fact that Lisa uh, Vanderpump is worth a lot of money. This article said 90. I thought it was 80. Whatever. A lot of money. I don't see her not being able to pay her taxes. So I don't know what's going on. And then also she just scored that new uh, t talk show where she interviews people on E! So money will be coming in for that. It just doesn't make sense. Maybe it's a temporary closing and maybe the son got it wrong. At least that's what I'm thinking. I just don't see them closing it for one year of back tax 
back taxes. So it has to be more to the story. I'm going to sit in the cut and wait for more information. Because this could be just like that problem that she had last month when a vendor came out and sued her for $100,000 and said that she hadn't paid them him in over a year for delivering vegetables. And when Ken was contacted, he had no idea that there was even a lawsuit. Maybe it's a misunderstanding like that. So I need more information. In the meantime, we've got a lot to talk about in the comments section. A serious adult conversation because we need to figure out what category are we going to put Jen Shaw in? Do we give her a break? She has mental issues. Are we being too hard on her? Or do we hold her accountable for her behavior? Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section. And then who believes that Erica Girardi is going to tell the truth on the upcoming season? Let me know how you feel about that. And then last but not least, do you guys think that Lisa Vanderpump um, is in money problems? Let me know what you think about that. In the meantime, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, don't forget to do that. I'll see you guys in the comments section. Lots to talk about today, guys. Until next time, bye for now.